So as we start this journey in the heat and mass transfer, it makes sense to start by defining what heat and mass transfer actually are. We'll start with heat transfer. We define heat transfer as thermal energy in transit due to a temperature difference. And this is most easily explained by looking at a few examples. Imagine a hot cup of coffee. You grab this cup of coffee and it feels warm. There is thermal energy moving from the hot coffee through the ceramic mug and into your hands. This is thermal energy in transit due to a temperature difference from the hot coffee into your colder hands. Think about the laptop that's probably right in front of you right now. That laptop probably feels warm because there are hot components inside like the CPU and other uh, parts on the motherboard that generate heat. That heat then moves through the body of the laptop and you can feel it with your hands. This evening, perhaps, you'll be cooking a meal and you might do this on your stovetop. That stovetop is hot and that heat then moves from the stove through a pan into the food that you're cooking. We can now extend this definition to mass transfer as well. And you'll see that the definition of mass transfer has surprisingly strong similarities to heat transfer. Mass transfer is defined as molecules in transit due to a concentration difference. We've replaced thermal energy for molecules and temperature for concentration. And this, again, is most easily understood by looking at examples. Imagine taking a cup of water and putting in a drop of dye. That dye starts very concentrated, but then starts to spread out throughout the solution. These are molecules moving from a point at which they are very concentrated to areas at which they are less concentrated. Molecules in transit due to a concentration difference. Imagine dropping a cube of sugar into a cup of coffee. That sugar moves from where it is very concentrated near the cube to points at which it is less concentrated in the bulk of the coffee. And think of a bottle of perfume. If you open up this bottle and leave it out, you can smell it across the room because those perfume molecules are moving from close to the bottle where they're very concentrated to far away all the way across the room to where you can smell them. All of these are examples of molecules in transit due to a difference in concentration. 